Dr. Price, a very common question is parents, fever. Uh, is that a problem? In most instances, fever in children is not a problem. Uh, it is a common occurrence in children. Uh, there are many causes. Obviously, it's a source of stress for parents, uh, especially if it happens when the doctor is not around. Uh, in principle, a uh, the most important thing is to make this child comfortable. There is really no reason to be afraid of fever. Uh, fever means uh, basically that the temperature regulation of the child, the thermostat in the brain uh, that controls the temperature of the child is a little bit out of control, uh, probably due to release of uh, chemicals we call pyrogens that may be released by the body itself fighting the infection or by chemicals that are released by bacteria, for instance, if the baby has a or the child has a bacterial infection. A, by giving a fever reducing agents such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, we're actually masking what's really going on and there's really no reason to be afraid of it. It just basically, if the child is uncomfortable, we make them feel a little bit more comfortable. If the fever is very high, we want to bring it down to manageable uh, level. But in essence, uh, the fact that the fever is there actually means that the immune system is at work and it is fighting the infection. And by giving high doses of uh, fever reducing medication, we may actually mask uh, the situation. Most fevers, uh, the cause of them can be diagnosed very easily either by the physical exam. If that is difficult, sometimes a basic uh, lab test can be done by the physician. So uh, in all essence, Keep the child comfortable, manage his temperature if it's high, uh, but fever itself should not be a source of stress or fear at all. So if a kid is playful and looks alert, usually that kid is not in too much trouble, is that true? Absolutely. If a kid is in trouble, he will show the symptoms. He will be lethargic, he will be uh, unresponsive. If a child is playful, even a little uncomfortable by the fact that he is febrile, uh, there is no reason to be distressed or anxious about it. Uh, if necessary, a tepid, tepid uh, bath may be able to uh, reduce the temperature and make the, feel, the, the child feel a little bit more comfortable. And that is really all that's necessary uh, uh, to do. So you can actually see fever is a, it's like a blessing disguise. It's your immune system doing its job. Absolutely. They are, uh, as part of the body fighting the infection, they are chemicals we call pyrogens. They're all kind of chemicals that are being released either by the body or also in response to the uh, uh, bacteria uh, being broken down and releasing these type of chemicals uh, affecting the uh, thermostat, the uh, center, or the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus of the brain. So that in essence, the fact that the fever is there, it tells us that something is going on. By monitoring it closely, by monitoring it carefully, uh, we very quickly can come down and uh, diagnose or find the cause of the fever. So in other words, the goal is just to keep it controlled, to observe the child, use medicine if needed to get a high temperature down, and realize that if you got the fever down, it doesn't mean the kid is even well, is it? Uh, in most instances, uh, by keeping the temperature in a comfortable zone, uh, the child will feel a lot better and whatever is going on probably will disappear on its own as the immune system uh, fights the causing uh, agent uh, for the infection. Obviously if the fever persists, if the child is acting sick or acting uncomfortable, uh, there is time to seek medical uh, consultation with the physician the next day or two days later. Uh, but there is no reason to panic or uh, to get into a, a distress situation by uh, running to emergency rooms or doing anything uh, unnecessary. With one exception, any kid that maybe three months or two months or less with fever, we are a little bit more concerned about the fever. We assess that pretty quickly, is that true? That is absolutely true. In kids under six weeks, uh, even up to under two months, uh, for a very simple reason, their immune system is somewhat immature. They cannot fight and localize infections very easily so that they're uh, more at risk for infections once they are there uh, to get out of control and to spread rapidly throughout the body. These are the kind of babies that we would like to get to the cause and the bottom of the source of the fever uh, quite uh, quickly. So we should think of fever as not a disease, it's a sign of something that's going in the body. We just assess the reason, 
We try to control it, and that's about it. Is that true? Absolutely.